All right, got a review of the HTRC. This is the C240 Duo, and it's from the Amazon Prime, or just Amazon, but I got on the Prime. So I got it in like two day shipping, and this is how it comes packaged. In the box with, uh, you got your feedback card there, it tells you what to do if you have issues or how to get feedback on the product. Uh, these are the wires it comes with. Uh, they have it laid out pretty nicely on the Amazon site, so you get pairs of everything. Some of the other multi-port chargers only come with one set, uh, so it does come with two of everything. So you got the two balance connectors, uh, then two of the alligator clips, two of the different style. If you have this uh, Tamiya style, on, like some of the toy, or toy style batteries, XT60 is what I use, and then your AC plug and directions. So you charge in a couple of these little three cell 650s, which is about the size I usually fly with. So I'm just gonna see how long it takes to charge, and what the end uh, per cell is, and also what the end tone sounds like when the batteries are done. Okay, this is the beeping it makes when it's full. It goes for about 10 or 15, maybe 20 seconds. And we'll see what, this is what it's saying the end voltage is here. Let's see what uh, we get. These little cell checkers. That's really good if you were somebody that didn't want that to go up to 4.21 you could go in that terminal voltage control and drop it down a tenth is that a hundred there be a hundredth and it, if you want to check if, if you assuming this is perfect and it's not that this is off um, then you could adjust it so it's balances all the cells perfectly and uh, accurately to me so so it's a good charger to get uh, go with I'm gonna use it for a while uh, if I have some issues I'll come back and uh, mention it on the comments of this video okay going over some of the features of the HTRC C240 duo ACDC something it has that a lot of these don't it's a power switch really nice for having that uh, on the bench you don't have to unplug it unplug it um, comes with the connector for DC, uh, conversions for alligator clips, and the Tamiya style plugs. Uh, for charging with XT60s, comes out of banana jacks to, I believe these are like T style connectors, what they're called. And so, what it comes with, you have to go from here to here and then here to the XT60. Now, what I normally do, because I, I usually fly like micro batteries uh, or micro quads that use the XT30 or XT60, I make this right here. So instead of having this, I just plug this in and, and leave that in. So when we're charging XT60 or XT30, I've got that right there ready to go and then plug in the balance. But uh, coming out of the package, you're still set to set to charge with this um, one good thing about this is just the portability since it's got the AC built in or the DC uh, and it's two ports you're not having to carry like uh, for instance my ISDG chargers here if I take two chargers I also have to have this power supply because it's uh, they're DC only so I've got this whole 
bit right here for two chargers. Whereas this, I'm just taking this with me. It's all one, one piece. Or what these are, what this charger is more similar is the four button style. It's more similar to the AccuCell style here. Uh, but still, these are DC, so you're still stuck carrying a, one of these style, at least this big, to power these if you have 110 somewhere and you're not using a battery. So, it's just a good solution to have. Good is that, uh, first charger would be great to have. Uh, I mean, even any charger is good to have because in, when you're carrying it in, a, say, a field bag like this right here or something like that, that takes up a lot less space. You charge two at a time, so get more flying done in here. I'll go through the menu just because it's uh, something you can see, but the, all these four port chargers are, are pretty similar. Uh, as you go through, you can, actually I'm back out here. It's not, start, starts with the program select, so lithium style batteries, nickel metal hydride or NICAD, lead acid and then user settings you can change your key beeps if you want it to beep when it's done uh, low cutoff so if you don't want to run down your battery uh, you may want to change that up if you're running off your car battery so you don't end up with a vehicle that doesn't run uh, you got a temperature sensors in here I've never really used those when charging uh, capacity cutoff if you don't want to run too long. Something I really don't use on these smaller batteries. Uh, safety timer if you don't want it to run past a certain time. So you have a, a really long balance. Uh, you just want it to cut off instead of sitting there trying to balance out for so long. And AC channel input there. That's something I don't really see. Uh, control standard for lithium. Let's see what's in that. Standard, accurate, fast. So that's how fast it's going to balance. Uh, so you're, how long you want it to sit there and, and try and get your balance just perfect before it says it's done. Uh, TVC, terminal voltage control. So for LiPo, if you want to end at 4.2, I usually say yes on the LiPo. Uh, Let's see if it says LiPo HV. Ah, here we go. Let's see what we could change that one to. 4.35, that's standard. Uh, you could take this on up if you're feeling, uh, feeling risky. Oh, what was it? 4.4 is as high as you could go and 4.3 is as low as you can go per volt so if you want to put a few more milliamps in there you can do that well 4.35 is the standard for that I just leave it at that and lithium ion so same thing for all those so that's pretty Pretty good to be able to change what those go into. Uh, NICAD peak sensitivity. I really don't do much on NICAD. Uh, lead batteries. If you're going to charge uh, like a charge power wheels batteries and stuff with these for for my kids' toys. So you can you can change some of that. Let's back out of that. if you want to reset it all to factory. So typical charge, back out of that again, you would go into program select. So your typical charge for a LiPo, you'd enter on that and then 
if you want to charge, balance charge. You normally want to balance charge, so hit enter on that. And then what type of uh, lithium battery? So is it going to be a LiPo or LiPo high voltage? So typically you're going to do all those lithium ion. You might have some uh, goggle batteries that are lithium ions. Uh, LiFe. I've got a Tyrannus battery. I believe it's LiFe. On actually, there's a Turnigy one. It's LiFe. The one that it comes with is nickel metal hydride. So normally you just say a LiPo there. And it drops down to your amperating. I'll usually charge a 1500 cell at two amps. And then it will come over and oh. you must know it's a four cell by what's in there already. So just hit enter. And then you can confirm it, you have to confirm it again for it to go. So as it's charging here, pretty sure you can hit that and it'll show per cell what you're doing. Do it again. And it's gonna keep running and scrolling there. If it's a LiPo for cell, and what your output is, that voltage, how many milliamps it's putting in. But it's doing balance and then your time charging. So it's it's pretty basic four button charger. Uh, they're all about the same now. And the fan does cycle on and off as it's going, but it's, it's got uh, a lot of power supply in there and you want to keep everything cool, so that's really not a problem to me. Okay, I got these batteries charging on a setting of uh, six amps, and it's a little high for a 1500 pack, but just for the sake of charging with the uh, AC input, uh, it'll go up to 4.7 per pack. That's because of the 150 watt maximum when you're on AC. So the channel one plus channel two is 150 watts uh, maximum. So, which if you're charging these types of cells, that's uh, 1500, that's really too much. So if you're parallel, and you can probably parallel two per and be, be good on that. I fly most of the smaller stuff, so for me, it's not gonna be a problem to, to use the AC function on this. Okay, now I'm testing the DC in the output, and no problem at all, of course doing the six amps per channel, because here, DC will do 240 watts, which is a, a 10 amp max per channel. So it is putting in six amps on that. I'm gonna stop it, because uh, I don't really wanna charge these packs at six amps, but it's what I had uh, by. And fan, while it is, some people say it's noisy, it's effective. It's definitely blowing there. Good. And to power it for this test, I'm using this server power supply. But it comes with this connector here to plug it to a, a your car battery or some other uh, battery you might have at the field. So no problem at all on the DC input doing uh, 6 amps which is actually what on a four it, what it goes up to there is six amps. So if you had a six cell going up to six amps, it would definitely uh, pull more out of your supply there.